This is a baby tusker who has unfortunately gotten injured by a jaw exploder. One side of his jaw is damaged, but he still is able to eat as the other side of the jaw is okay. With the onset of the dry season, herds of elephants wander into this forest bordering village. It's a beautiful sight to watch these matriarch-led, tightly bonded elephants of all ages and sizes strolling around. Tourists and even the villagers enjoy seeing them doing their day-to-day -day activities and how they take care of each other. However, after a couple of weeks, the villagers started noticing one baby tusker showing difficulty in keeping up with his herd. He shows discomfort when eating and drinking. The concerned villagers called the wildlife office in the area and alerted the officials about this baby tusker. Officers arrived immediately and set to work. They observed how he is eating with difficulty and shows less movement compared to other baby elephants. He looks skinny too. Actually, if he grows up well, he will turn out to be a very elegant tusker. First, the vets sedate the animal using a tranquilizer gun as they need to get very close to him to examine and clean his impaired jaw. As soon as he is sedated, the officers prepare the elephant to receive the medicines. While he is being cleaned, the vets prepare the medicines to suit his body size. Antibiotics, multivitamins, anti-inflammatory drugs, painkillers, calcium, and other relevant drugs are injected carefully. These medicines will boost immunity, fight infection, and heal wounds. Some elephants automatically reverse the sedation and tend to act violently. There have been instances where the officers have even lost their lives in such situations. It is only to prevent such havoc that the elephant's feet are tied with ropes. These ropes will be removed soon after the treatment is over. The tusker starts trembling, showing signs of an imbalance. While being treated, he falls down. Immediately, the officers untie the ropes, as otherwise, he could get injured, fall on the trunk, or even damage an internal organ and have internal bleeding due to its heavy weight. Officers and villagers get together and turn the tusker to a side to prevent injuries and reduce any discomfort. They check if the head, trunk, and legs are in order. If not, they need to immediately attend to it before doing any other treatment. The sedative drug will only be effective for a while. Keeping that in mind, the officers have to settle the fallen elephant quickly to continue the treatment. Soon after the tusker is settled into a comfortable posture, the vets need to start inspecting his jaw. The broken pieces need to be removed and it has to be cleaned thoroughly. Let's see how this will be done. They start administering saline through the tusker's ear vein with an added dose of dextrose, while a few officers inspect the tusker's jaw. For a baby tusker who has just started life, losing a jaw is extremely sad. These large mammals spend most of their day eating and drinking for their survival in which case will be difficult for this creature for the rest of his life, as broken jaws cannot be repaired. 
An officer takes cotton wool and cleans the tusker's jaw completely. This is done to remove the dead tissue inside of the mouth. If not, it can cause infection and cause serious issues that could even lead to a very painful death. Right now, the only target of these officers is to improve this tusker's condition to a level where he can survive on his own. Eight bottles of dextrose saline were administered to this animal via an IV line. Now, the vets are washing off the injured jaw with saline to clear away debris from the wound, dissolve dried blood, and remove irritants and bacteria. All these medications are sufficient enough for about a week, and they should help improve his condition. The vets hope to take this baby tusker to a rehabilitation center if the condition doesn't improve by a week's time. If he shows a noticeable improvement, they will let him be here in this forest and keep an eye on him until he finds himself accustomed to his new way of life. People have been gathered around this injured animal from the time the officers arrived. They have been quite helpful too. They certainly will look after this beautiful creature if he recovers and stays within the village limits. A revival drug will soon be administered to the animal, mixed with the saline. Soon after that, the leg ropes will be untied and an antibiotic spray will be applied to the injection site to prevent any infection. The crowds gathered here are being advised to move away as the tusker will soon revive and it could be dangerous. And finally, our baby Tusker is revived from sedation. He is back on his feet. The treatment is over for now, but the wildlife officers will continue to monitor the condition of this animal. Let's all wish him a speedy recovery and bless him to become a masterpiece of nature very soon.